to, what we do is we sell the ProLand lanolin grease. This is uh, food grade approvals, can be used in marine environments, potable water systems, anywhere that uh, you have a fitting you want to put together and you want to get it apart again. It comes in a grease form or a tub form. And in the grease form, make sure that you unscrew the top and remove the tin foil that's in here. Just scrape it out of the way, like so. And then screw the cap back on. And then you have a nice little nozzle to apply it. All you need to do is put a little smear on the thread and then wind the thread, the nut over the thread. Now on mild steel applications that, that will be fantastic, you'll be able to undo it like 30 years later. Um, in stainless steel situations it's very very good for preventing the galling between the stainless steel nut and the thread. There's nothing worse than having a million dollars worth of machinery that's got a nice stainless fitting on it, you wind the nut on, it binds and then you've got to cut it off with a gas torture or grinder. The other thing you can do is um, you can also put it in sprackle, uh, shackles and pins and bushes. Very, very good in here. Salt water won't remove it. Water blasting won't remove it. So it's great for marinas, those types of applications, anything going around salt water. Um, to give you an example, this is a brake adjuster from inside a brake drum on a commercial fishing boat trailer. The um, brake drum was put into water most days of the week. And looking at the outside of it, you would swear that that wouldn't be able to move. Now, um, when we took it out of the brake drum, they couldn't believe it. It could spin just nice and freely. And the only reason for that is because somebody had applied a bit of ProLand to the thread before they put it together. So yeah, there's one use for ProLand anti-seize grease. It's also very good around electrical connections, battery terminals, all those types of fittings, as it's non-conductive, so it won't hurt anything. Um, the heat is what affects it, so it goes a bit soft in the summertime, and in the winter time it goes the opposite and goes a bit hard. So in the winter time if you're trying to get it out of the tube and you have issues, just unscrew the nozzle and use it like a toothpaste tube. One, one solution is just to put it inside your pocket for, um, for about 20 minutes or not even that, and uh, your body temperature is enough to warm it up and soften it.